Tackling brings all the boys to the yard. Statistically, viewers are 97% male. Hi guys. <laughs> if you're excited for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 CPUs, I hope you're also excited to open up your wallet as it looks like the next generation of AMD Silicon is going to be more expensive than the 5000 series. Yay. Sure, yay. <laughs> sure, GPU prices have fallen below MSRP, but CPUs, they were always different. They don't follow the crowd. Price increases will be somewhere around 10 to 12% according to well-known Twitter leaker Momomo US, who posted Canadian retailer listings for a number of next-gen chips. The SKUs range from $340 to $906, with Ryzen 5 7600X being the most affordable option on that list. The chip should arrive within a month or so, with one rumor indicating that we might see them at Gamescom in late August. Consumers will at least get new features like PCIe 5.0 and DDR5 support in exchange for the higher price, along with up to a 10% better IPC. But that doesn't dull the pain of having those extra few bucks ripped out of your bank account. Didn't even get to say goodbye. One of the reasons AMD is hoping consumers will still go nuts for their new processors despite the cost is the fact that the second quarter of this year marked the largest single quarter decline in desktop CPU shipments since 1994, back when Ace of Base ruled the world. They were ready for this. They saw the sign. That's a joke for the old people. In fact, Intel lost around $500 million in revenue, but despite the bad news for the processor industry, AMD actually did pretty well last quarter, with their market share on desktops eclipsing 20%. Although AMD still took a hit on their laptop CPUs, it wasn't quite as big as what Team Blue had to deal with. And with Intel's new CPUs not scheduled to launch until October, AMD might be able to keep padding the stats with the Ryzen 7000 launch. So please, if you can find it within your hearts to help these poor chip-making giants, donate today. And while there is much hype around the hopefully imminent launch of the RTX 4000 series, it's also been widely reported that Nvidia is trying to clear out excess stock of their existing cards first. Because new GPU launches aren't fun if no one gets buyer's remorse from buying the last gen flagship a day before. Now, a leaker has thrown some more material into the rumor mill with claims that Team Green is once again manufacturing the RTX 3080 12GB edition. Although it might seem counterintuitive for Nvidia to start making more of an existing lineup when the supply glut is actively preventing them from releasing the new model, the move does make some sense, as Nvidia is trying to get rid of excess 3080 GPUs that could support 12 gigs of VRAM, but weren't good enough to be sold as 3090s. Seeing as some gamers have bemoaned the fact that some higher-end cards in the 3000 series have relatively low amounts of VRAM, these new 3080s might actually have some appeal. Whether that will be enough to fight the FOMO you feel unboxing your brand new 3080 while watching reviews pop up for the 4080 is anyone's guess. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Secret Lab, maker of chairs engineered to keep you incredibly comfortable for long hours at work and play, or both. At the same time, if you're an eSports player, their new Titan Evo 2022 chair will make you forget all about the question of whether playing video games is actually work or not because of their amazing four-way lumbar support, ultra-comfortable line of different seat materials, and up to a five-year extended warranty and 49-day return policy. You could almost use it for your whole eSports career and then return it after. Head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. <laughs> If you give them a little love and care, Quick Bits could be the best part of your day. <laughs> I don't. If you own a Google Pixel, look out for Android 13 to hit your device today as Google continues their long running perk of pushing OS updates to Pixels first. There are a laundry list of new features, but if you own an Android phone from a different manufacturer, don't be envious. Chances are you already have half the stuff Google just managed to add in anyway. That's right. That was a shot at Google for adding things slowly to Android. Some people got it. TikTok now has a Dolly mini style AI image generator, but don't get too excited as it isn't very, th it isn't that good. Specifically, the app features an AI green screen that can convert text to images, but the output is reportedly quite abstract and blobby. I mean, what do you expect? The AI was probably trained on millions of Chinese surveillance cameras. So it's like when that's all you got. OLED monitors are becoming more popular, but it's hard to find one that's smaller than 42 inches. How about a 24 inch or a 27 inch model? Come on. LG says they're coming to the rescue sometime this year with a smaller panel sized at 
20 inches. <sighs> oh, okay, that's, that's a bit too large for laptops, but a little small for a desktop monitor. I feel like LG is pulling a prank on us. They never really grew out of the frat boy phase. You might start seeing integration for streaming services soon on the granddaddy of all streaming services, YouTube. The company is reportedly working on a store of sorts where you can buy subscriptions to various outside streaming services such as HBO Max from within the YouTube app. No word yet on whether this will be any less silly than Amazon Prime's channels feature and, oop, oh, word has just come in, it won't be. And there's an interesting report that we were pretty close to an ad-free version of Facebook. Apple was apparently working with Facebook to offer a subscription option with no advertising, but it would have involved ad tracking across apps, meaning both companies would have gotten your activity history instead of just one. That doesn't sound like something anyone wants, but at least Apple would have gotten a cut of purchases made in the app, which would have... Would, Oh my goodness, it's the end of the episode. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news. And if you know any girls, bring them too.